hello guys welcome back to another short video on reading particular column or row data from an excel file in python using excel wings in the previous video we have learned to read the data from an excel sheet and print that one in our terminal window if you have not watched that please feel free to go back and watch that video i have provided the link for that video in the description as well as you can see in this terminal window we have retrieved all the data from an excel and displayed it here there might be some scenarios where you want to read only particular column or row for instance in this example if you wish to read only column starting from a1 or b1 or similarly if you wish to read the data from a particular row like which starts from a1 or a3 or any particular column or any row in such scenarios where you want to retrieve only particular column or row you can modify your code based on the particular column or row which you want to extract in our previous code we have written code for retrieving all the data so let's comment that one first let's try to retrieve a data from a particular column for that one let me create one variable by name column one for this one as we know we already got a sheet for that one you can use the property range and within the range function you can mention the column name for which you want to retrieve the data for example i will mention here as b1 as we are interested to retrieve the data of this b1 column which is nothing but if you observe here we want to retrieve the data starting from this b1 cell till this b21 cell that is nothing but we are starting from this one and trying to retrieve the data till this end so for that one as we know we have a method by name expand which will select all the rows and columns data starting from this cell instead of just mentioning expand pass a parameter by name down within this expand function this will select all the data of that particular column this is the change which you need to do from our previous code then add another property by name value at the end this piece of code will give us the data of each cell below this particular cell which we have mentioned here so let me copy this variable and paste it in the print and rerun this application now you can see we got the data of this particular column category electronics till the last cell data that is garden if you cross verify that one we got the same data which is showing you here similarly if you want to retrieve the data of a row for this instance if you want to retrieve this row data which is starting from a2 you can change the parameter which we have mentioned within this expand from down to right and update the cell name as a2 so let me rename this variable as row1 and copy this row1 and add it in the print statement now all the cell values which are towards right of this particular A2 cell those will be stored in this row 1. So let's rerun this application. Now you can observe we got the values of those 4 cells here. If you cross verify that one with the excel sheet you can observe laptop electronics 999 and 25. So that is the data which we have received here. So instead of using only expand method, you can pass a parameter down or right based on your requirement to get the particular column data or row data in Excel wings. This is one of the very useful feature in real time scenarios. So that's it guys for this short video. Thanks for watching this. If you like this video, please click on like button, share it with others and subscribe to my channel.